Well, when it comes to vein disease, many think the treatments are in-depth and so painful, but there's really no reason to hesitate in seeking treatment these days. I visited Dr. Keith Nichols at his office in Virginia Beach to find out about the new treatments that he can do right there at the Center for Vein Restoration. Well, Dr. Nichols, thanks so much for making time for the Hampton Road Show today. And when we're talking about our seniors for our senior living special, I think the first thing we can really do is put seniors' mind at ease because they may think that uh, stripping is still the most common treatment for venous diseases. Well, thankfully, it's not anymore. Stripping is kind of on its way out, even though in certain cases that's appropriate. We have uh, kinder, gentler methods that we can do in the office now. Yeah. People can come in. Um, they can eat breakfast before they come in. They can take their medicines, drive themselves, and usually we'll have them back home in an hour. So it sounds like the big difference is the procedures you're about to tell us about don't require the general anesthesia. They're just not as big a deal as the vein stripping used to be. When you talk about being able to eat, drive yourself in, and not have the same expectations for downtime. downtime. So let's go through some of them. Sure. Um, all of these procedures have about a 95 to 99 percent success rate. Most of them take half an hour or less. And again, um, there's minimal discomfort with them. Some of them, it's just one needle stick. Mm -hmm. The first one that we do is called a laser ablation. Using the ultrasound machine, we'll put a laser fiber in the vein, we'll heat it up, and then we'll slowly pull that laser fiber out, and it shrinks that vein. So that vein is no longer functioning. Um, similar to that, we have a radio frequency ablation. With that, we put in a catheter that actually emits radio waves and it shrinks the collagen in the vein like shrink wrap with a hair dryer. It's oh, really pretty amazing. neat. Mm -hmm. And we'll pull that out over a couple minutes in the, in the vein again and it's shrunken down. Um, something new called Verathena, which is a very thick foam that's kind of like shaving cream. We can inject that into the vein and close it as well. Uh, another one is something called a Clarivain. Clarivain is an um, interesting little thing. It's a catheter and the tip is shaped like a hockey stick and that spins around at 3600 RPM and we'll slowly pull that out and inject the medicine at the same time and that'll make the vein close down. Mm -hmm. And the last but probably my favorite is something called Venusil. Uh, Venusil is the crazy glue of medicine so to speak. We can use a catheter and with the ultrasound uh, very precisely place little areas of adhesive in the vein kind of like crazy glue and that will stick together and as soon as you get off the table, you're good to go. You don't have to wear compression stockings. Mm -hmm. There's no anesthesia and you can do whatever you want. This one you said has almost no downtime. You said people could get off the table and go for a run if they wanted to. That's correct. Yes, there's absolutely no downtime. Mm -hmm. One of the nice things is that Medicare does cover that. Medicare will cover almost all of these procedures Okay, that's fantastic. So seniors uh, have listened to all these different options, seen the pictures of each procedure, uh, but still need you to tell them which is best for them. So what can they expect when they come talk to you about their issues? When you come in, first thing we'll do is an ultrasound. That gives us the plumbing of your veins, so to speak, and tells us where the leak is. It's kind of a detective story, mm -hmm. who done it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Once we figure that out, then we can figure out what we can do about it. And we'll use one of those five modalities to do it, just depending on the vein, how large it is, if it's straight or not straight. Um, there's various factors that go into that, but we can definitely tell you that. Again, uh, seniors have more trouble with the veins with each decade of life. The prevalence of vein disease goes higher, mm -hmm. so over half of women over the age of 50 have vein disease. Well, but I guess the good news is, is as time progresses, so does the technology, as we just heard now with these five options that people may not have, not have known. Uh, so it's good to hear that the advancement in the treatment is keeping time with the advancement in the number of people who need it. Absolutely, so you can wear your shorts out on the boardwalk again. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Nichols. Well, thank you. So Dr. Keith Nichols has two locations for the Center for Vein Restoration, Virginia Beach and in Suffolk. The number, 1-800-FIX-LEGS. Or you can find out more information online at vein.centerforvein.com.